I'm on the hunt okay. for bargains. So I'll go ahead and take this one. And found great eggs? deals everywhere. How much are the Uggs? 40. Problem is, what am I really buying? See that lady selling sunglasses at a neighborhood festival in Utah? Like them? Yeah. She says they're fancy designer shades, Oakley and Ray-Ban, which typically sell for 150 bucks. And how much is each? Those are 30 dollars. 30? No wonder they're flying off the shelf, but something is about to happen. See the guy in the red shirt? We blurred his face because he's an undercover agent for the Utah Attorney General's Counterfeit Task Force. And it's easy to see why they've taken such an interest in what she's selling. The quality of these glasses, you're going to wear them for a week and they're going to be busted if they last even that long. I showed task force agent Kevin Pepper Trademark, three pairs of glasses I bought from that woman. Real. I've determined that these are all fake. Hi, police department. Can you come to the door, please? I think the attorney general's office, we have a search warrant for the house. After she Down was there. observed at that festival, the task force raided the sunglass lady's house and say they found boxes of counterfeit sunglasses and more. And we found uh, sunglasses and shoes and fake eyelashes. Uh, all that are counterfeit products. Okay. They charged her with three felonies for selling and marketing on, counterfeit the, uh, merchandise. Uh, this is the famous Aqueduct Flea Market in Brooklyn, New York. And how much for the Michael Kors? 30 bucks. 30? We wondered if those name brand items being sold here at crazy prices were the real deal. $20 for Gucci. I purchased Michael Kors purses. So I'll go ahead and take this one. This is a, this is a Michael Kors? Yeah. There were also multiple vendors selling Ugg boots. Can I get these in a size 8? Size 8. In the pink? Sure. Pink Uggs. How much are these? 45. 45. For that price, I decided to buy three pairs. These are not authentic Uggs products. But private investigator Bill Ryan says they're all fake, every one of them. You see the nameplate Michael Kors, it pops right off. Oh my gosh. So you can actually take it out and <gasps> oh no. here you go, Christmas present for you. And look you what know? happened when I tried to get some answers from the vendors. Hi there, are these real Ugg boots, you guys? I bought some boots from you earlier today. These are the Ugg boots that you sold me, but they're not real Ugg boots, are they? The minute they saw our cameras, off they scattered. They, they took come in, off. They run. So they left their whole booth Imagine empty. The so there's out. all these boxes full of sure. Ugg boots that are fake, and they just left them because they saw our camera here. The flea market manager decided somebody had to go, and it was me. He kicked me out. So are you aware that some of these things that are being sold here are, I am not are aware fake of that. goods? Nope. So these aren't real Ugg boots, are they? I didn't know that. They were so upset that we were here to film them that they actually locked us out. Okay, so the Uggs are fake, but who knows? Maybe they're still a good deal. The people at Ugg agreed to compare the real thing to our black counterfeit boot. You can see the fake has two layers that they say will come unstitched in short order. And it just pulls apart. Uh, here on the genuine, it's one piece of natural material. The lesson here, you get what you pay for.